watching Thrifty Kniffy. Hello everyone and welcome to Thrifty Kniffy. So today we're going to be taking a look at another Uncle Henry fixed blade. Brought to us by American Outdoor Brands. That's at AOB.com. Go check them out. This knife's made in China. But uh, AOB is the new owner of the Uncle Henry brand. And we are looking at model number 110088 otherwise known as the PH2N. It is the Mini Pro Hunter. And we have a brown leather sheath that goes with this knife. Snap close. Just like that. Nice single stitch around the perimeter there. And uh, you get a little Uncle Henry no, it's frayed. It says frayed on the button there. And there's a look at the back. Another, again, a single stitch. And then you get a two inch loop. Now, out of the box, the sheath's a little dry. I would recommend uh, applying some mineral oil or mink oil or whatever your favorite leather product is and conditioning a little bit. It gets a little dry. So, yeah, it definitely improves it when you do that. Uh, now again, the sheath holds it all the way up to the bolster here and does a good, nice, tight fit and the, uh, the snap does a good job of holding it in place. And there's no pulling it out when that's closed up, so it does a good job of holding it in there. Pretty decent little sheath. Got some welting on the sides here. Not going to be made of top grain leather or anything like that, but just for the utility and uh, protection it definitely serves its purpose. Right, so let's take a look at the knife itself here. We've got the next gen Staglon handles on this guy. So it's the newer, lighter colored material. And then covered with the brown. You get a nickel silver bolster here and uh, brass uh, rivets to hold it together. Or pins. And on both sides. You get the full tang on this guy, which is my uh, my preference for these types of fixed blades. No rat tail tang or anything, just a full size tang all the way around the shape of the handle there. But uh, it seems very rug rugged. The, the material is very, very durable and seems to be well constructed with these pins. Uh, doesn't uh, f feel as though that's going to come off anytime soon. And the bolster seems well attached. Uh, it looks like it's a, a U shape, so it's solid on the bottom. And then it's split at the top where the, the blade goes through. But uh, nice and shiny color, pretty attractive. Then you get a satin finish on the blade, and we get a hollow grind on this little drop point blade could be used for skinning or hunting or camping whatever you'd like kind of a multi-purpose uh, you know design pretty utilitarian shape do a lot of different tasks but you get the Uncle Henry tank stamp on there with charade below it and uh, on this side we have the new model number 11000088 so going with that seven digit number now. Now this out of the box wasn't particularly sharp I'd have to say. I was not uh, significantly pleased with the way the edge was so I took it upon myself to rectify that by putting it on the work sharp sharpener. And now we have a pretty decent edge. Now I'm still improving my sharpening skills. I get better each time I do it but I'm far from perfect. I've got a little bit of a double bevel towards the end of the blade but uh, it's plenty sharp now much improved over the stock edge it had on it out of the box a couple other little things I did to try to improve the knife uh, I rolled these edges here at the top of the tang as you grip the knife you have that nice little finger choil so you have your pos hand position pretty well set and uh, the edges of the the bolster would kind of poke into the meat of your thumb as you press down. So just roll those ever so slightly. So you can see the, the little chamfer there I put on there. 
and that just made it a lot more comfortable to use. Also, I rolled the edges of the the handle. They were a little bit 90 degree-ish, you know, sort of giving you that 90 degree edge into your hand as you gripped hard. And just a slight amount of rolling it over with some 800 grit sandpaper or something to that effect uh, really makes a big difference in the comfort of the knife. And uh, between, you know, the rolling of that and the rolling of the handle edges all through the choil and down the edge, uh, top and bottom, both sides, makes a significant difference in comfort. So now we have both a sharp blade and a comfortable handle. Those improvements make, a, I think, a significant difference in the usability of the knife. But uh, just something to keep in mind. I mean, uh, we're looking at a $19 and some odd cents knife right now on sale on Smoky Mountain Knife Works. Generally, they think these go for about $25. But uh, even in that price range, you get a really nice very easy to carry knife you know you're looking at six and seven or six and three quarter inch uh total length and uh, that'll definitely be an easy carry probably one of the smaller fixed blades that you can buy you know and uh they don't come much smaller than than that so the mini pro hunter yeah just a just a smaller version of the pro hunter I've already reviewed the Pro Hunter, and uh, if you want to check that out, uh, just search my uh, homepage for Pro Hunter, and you'll, or t <clears throat> take a look at the Uncle Henry uh, playlist, and you can look at all the different Uncle Henry products that I have reviewed. But uh, yeah, very, uh, very sharp now after the sharpening. I'll give you a little push cut test on some paracord here and it has no problem getting through that so much improved little blade edge there now and I just would recommend uh, you know if you're gonna use this blade or knife in a serious way you're gonna want to probably sharpen it right out of the box not the uh, greatest edge on it when when you get it so Maybe a little work on it, but uh, just that minor amount of effort, you get a really, really nice small uh, hunting knife, and uh, comes with the sheath. So just strap that on your belt. Should be good to go. Um, pretty lightweight as well. Not particularly heavy. Uh, you got seven CR17 mauve steel on this guy. Pretty comfortable in the hand too. You have plenty of room for a four finger grip. And that choil again, like I say, it just kind of puts it in a natural position. And then your thumb kind of rides up here. And with that, those points taken away, just really comfortable. You still get a little bit of a purchase on the top of those, but not, you know, not in an uncomfortable way. So yeah, just a few little tweaks makes this a really sweet little knife. But uh, that's really going to do it for my review, guys. There's not a whole lot to it. Uh, Uncle Henry PH2N, or better known as the 1100088 Mini Pro Hunter. Uncle Henry has done a fine job on this guy, and uh, I do look to recommend this one if you're looking for a smaller hunting knife. Very affordable. Again, $19 and some odd cents on Smoky Mountain Knife Works right now. They are on sale normally around $25. But I hope you enjoyed the review, guys. Make sure you like, subscribe, and hit the bell to be made aware of videos when they drop. Hope you guys have a fantastic day today, and do take care.